Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Another installment of the Michael Griff and Lone Starter gear, rig, guitar, page thing. So um, we're in a beautiful place called Penn's Peak Resort. It's a, a wonderful little room today, but I was going to show you all the I've been using for this tour so far. Um, we'll start with the pedal board. A lot of it's the same stuff I had last time. Uh, the M13 I use still for all my delays, reverbs, choruses. Uh, every now and then I use it for a gain effect or something like that. But mainly it's my delays. Um, these last two rows here are actually in the effects loop of the amp, and I'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, signal chain starts with volume pedal, uh, Dunlop volume pedal. I've got a tuner in that, the Polytune Mini. And then I hit a uh, Wampler Ego compressor uh, to compress my Ego. And then I've got a Timmy pedal and a Klon clone. And then from there it goes... Where does it go? It goes into the first two uh, rows of the M13. And then out of that it goes into the Strymon Lex, which is my rotary speaker. And then I hit the front of the amp. And then out of the effects loop of the amp, I come back in and get these two rows for delays and reverb. So my basic sound, and I'm trying to get too loud on you. <laughs> That's just with just a compressor and a little bit of reverb. Uh, Fern with Timmy is just a tiny bit of gain. And the clone is a little bit more gain. And I can stack those two pedals as well. Uh, the rotary speaker is that's where I've got that set. Uh, my delays, usually it's a memory man model. And I've got this uh, expression pedal over here that I can adjust the uh, delay time or the the mix. So I can blend in more delay if I feel like I need it. Um, also got a special delay when we do the Pink Floyd. That thing. I've also got a uh, octo reverb for big swells. got a uh, Dimension C chorus for the, uh, like the Dan Huff ballad kind of things. So I have the GAC on there if I needed it most of the time. My guitar signal is pretty straightforward. Uh, this box here is actually the channel switcher for the third power amp. Um, the amp is a I'm using a third power British Dream, and it's actually been modified heavily. It's actually one of the first prototypes of what he's calling the Dream Weaver. So, white bass fender sound, and then the right channel where the white cord's going in is the Marshall Plexi. So, I can go from a clean fender to a Marshall. I would have to switch heads into one cabinet. I just have an AB box and I keep it on the same amp. It makes my effects loop routing a whole lot easier. Now the cabinet I'm using, I'm going to take a look at the amp. Here's the British Dream prototype, Dreamweaver prototype. And then I'm using their 212 switchback cabinet, which has the uh, ported back. You could put the little triangle ports in or, or leave them off if you want to open back or close back. Uh, I've got a G12-8, uh, excuse me, a, a Celestian Gold and a Celestian Classic Lead 80. And I'm micing the Classic Lead 80 right now with a 57 and a Fathead 2 ribbon mic. So I put those really close together and blend them together and it sounds like the cabinet when I'm standing in front of it. So that's pretty much it. I'm using the Line 6 uh, Relay Wireless. I've got the Line 6 Vocal Mic as well, the V70. And the guitars I'm using. Uh, today is, there's a lot of electromagnetic hum here, so I'm using this uh, strap today because it's got lace sensor pickups and they kill all that hum. 
Uh, normally my main guitar is this Tom Anderson Cobra with P90s, but they're very noisy. They don't like electromagnetic fields. So, And I've also got this Gibson. I'll be using this uh, 335 a lot tonight. With These are Duncan Antiquity pickups as well. So um, These are Antiquity P90s as well. So love the Duncan pickups, and these lace sensor makes a very quiet strat. So um, that's it. That's what I'm using on this tour, and uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.